Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, we are going to be touring the Etienne, E-T-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. I hope I'm saying this correctly. This home is absolutely beautiful. I probably say that about every home. I'm such a positive person. You guys, I mean it. This home is absolutely gorgeous. It has a built-in front porch. Not just a little step up, you guys, but just an absolutely beautiful space. I would probably extend it out, but even if you just put a step there, you got room for a rocker on each side and lots of decor. I could see ferns or begonias or just whatever you desire out on this front porch just beautiful 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 love it all right so enough about the outside you guys let's go in and take a look at the inside shall we Just a quick disclaimer, I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, the price or specifications, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, when you first walk in, you are greeted by this beautiful entryway. Really, really lovely. Really lovely. Look at all the windows you have there. I'm gonna give you a moment just to take it in. Really lovely. I'm gonna walk on this side and let you see where we entered. So you have all of this area over here as your entry. Boy, you could do a lot with that space. I would not cover up those windows unless I put a, some beautiful plants in front of them. But you do have the space where the couch is to put a nice console table or bench or, you know, uh, two tables, just whatever you want to put. It's a lot of space over there. A lot of space in this area. And then from the front door, this living room greets you. You've got this wonderful fireplace Above it on this feature wall, you have space for a huge TV. Uh, coming around, you've got beams, those beautiful light beams in the ceiling. You also have the same color trim around the windows and the walls. Just a lot of space in this area for entertaining, relaxing with your family, just doing whatever you like. You've got the wide planks in the floor which I absolutely love. And you have a ceiling fan in here, right? So you've got so much space in this room to just stretch out and enjoy your family. Really lovely. Now, another thing that I like about this home, you guys, I love about this home is that it's open space, but it's not completely open. So if you're not interested in a completely open area, like this would be the home for you. It's beautiful. You've got crown molding around the top, uh, crown molding around the ceiling in the kitchen, beautiful cabinets that match the trim. Really nice. There are those corner cabinets again. Really beautiful. Love the backsplash. It's a combination of brick and tile. And I think it, they complement each other. They go well in this kitchen. Love the look of this counter space. And you have lots of outlets for all your appliances. You see that? Look at all the outlets you have in this kitchen. You've got this wide window that opens. You've got drawers and cabinet space. And look at this corner, these corner cabinets, you guys. So look, you've got the Lazy Susan type space for 
that one doesn't open but you have your space in here for your for your pots beautiful love it love it love it love it and you got soft clothes drawers did y'all see that you saw it right let's do it again there you go this is a deer valley home the etienne beautiful you got stainless steel appliances in here large stainless steel sink you've got a large island you could put four or five bar stools at that island comfortably you have one two three four five six drawers and six cabinets in this island you guys beautiful it's a 2400 square foot home it's got three bedrooms and three baths excuse me four bedrooms and three baths you've got your sink and your refrigerator over here and your dishwasher and then over here you've got your stove top on the counter and then and it's the ceramic top which is a plus and then you've got your microwave on top and your oven on the bottom you've got drawers down there and lots of cabinet space over here really nice love the hood over the stove you've got pendant lighting in here like this is a beautiful kitchen beautiful that's a view of the entire kitchen at a glance really nice love 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 this kitchen you've got pantry space right here off the kitchen i hadn't seen a pantry in a minute so this is a nice surprise so you've got shelving to the left and to the right and honestly i would wish i would put shelving in the middle as well so you've got space for shelving to go straight through there and they they don't have to touch the same length could go in the middle without touching really nice love it love it love it now on the other side of the kitchen is your dining room you've got four windows in here you guys look at all the light in this dining room you got a ceiling fan up there you got space to decorate to your heart's content you can put a super long table in this area you could put 10 people at a table over here you have room for a buffet over here you can just do whatever you like in this dining room lots of space in this dining room to just have at it love it absolutely love it all right so let's walk back through the kitchen i know i could stay in here all day but we got a lot more houses to see we'll walk through the kitchen to the right of the front door is this hallway okay so you've got this hallway here first room on the left is your laundry room already i see that long counter next to your washer and dryer your washer and dryer will go here you've got all of these cabinets up top and below and this long counter space in addition to a deep sink here in the laundry room Okay, so that's a plus. You've got space to fold your clothes and everything. On this side, let's see. Okay, that's your hot water heater. And that's going to be your um, uh, heating and air. So you've got this nook here that could be whatever you want it to be. Mudroom area, uh, deep freezer. You could put a craft desk there. You can just do whatever you like. You've got so much space in this laundry room. All of this space in the laundry room to just do whatever you like. Really lovely. This is a large laundry room, you guys. So that's your laundry room. That's the first door you get to. Now, as you go down the hall to the right, you have this little nook here and you've got two bedrooms. So to the right, you've got bedroom number one, 
okay? You got bedroom number one. Let's see if I can bring in some more light in here. That's your closet over there. Not a walk-in, but it's a, you've got a lot of space for your, for your children's things or your guest things in this closet, okay? So these two bedrooms have a Jack and Jill ba bathroom. You have double sinks in this bathroom. Two large mirrors above. There's your toilet and tub and shower combo over there. All right. And again, this is Jack and Jill. So both uh, doors closed for privacy. Back through the hall. This is the second additional bedroom. Same size bedroom, you guys. So there's no fighting about who got the bigger bedroom, right? So this is your bedroom, and we will take a look at this closet. Now, this closet is a walk-in closet, okay? So you got your, a walk-in closet over here. Lots of space in this walk-in closet. Really lovely. Really lovely. Love that it's not the wire shelving, which is always nice. And then again, that's the door from this side into the Jack and Jill bedroom. So that's the view from over here. Really lovely. All right, so let's leave out of this nook. We were just in the laundry room here just to give you an idea of where we are. Okay, so that's a little nook for the Jack and Jill bed and bathrooms. Then down here, you've got your third additional bedroom. Really lovely, nice size bedroom. And then this one also has an even larger walk-in closet. Really beautiful. Really nice. Now it's kind of dark to see into this second guest bathroom. So if there are any pictures, I absolutely post them. We got lights. Ta-da. So you have storage over here. You've got a tub and shower combo. And then there's your sink and toilet over there. Look how much space you have in this bathroom. Really lovely. Really lovely. So this is your main guest bathroom. This is probably what, what your guests will use. Uh, well, either one, but this one is not in a bedroom. So this is the one that I would use. Really lovely. So I'm going to go back down the hall and give you an idea of where we just are. were. Off the living room, down this hall, you've got your laundry room here. Next to the laundry room is the guest bath. You've ha you have bedroom number one. And then in this cubby, you've got two additional bedrooms and a Jack and Jill bathroom. So that's what this side of the house looks like. Now, if we spin around and go back through the living room, I'll show you, and the kitchen, I'll show you the master bath. Master bedroom and bathroom. So off the kitchen, tucked away, you have your master bedroom. Large master, really lovely. Really, really lovely. You got a ceiling fan here in the master. Lots of space in this master. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Really nice. In the master bedroom or in the master bath. When you walk into the bathroom, the double sinks are off to the left. All right, to the right, you have a large sofa tub behind the door with a window that opens. You've got a super large shower. Love the window that looks in or out of the shower here so you don't have glass here you have a window you actually have a window 
Uh, oh, you do. It is glass because it doesn't go all the way up. Can you see that? Really lovely. Love the tile. Good use of, of the decor. This looks like brick, but it's more of a tile. You've got really nice. This is really rich. I love this glass tile. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Next to the shower, you have the toilet room in here. Do we have lights? We have a fan and no lights. So you got your toilet room in here. And then your master closet is in here. So if there are any pics, I'll definitely make sure that I post them because it's too dark in here. But you've got uh, great use of shelving in this master closet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. This dealership does not post prices. This is the Etienne by Deer Valley. All of the specs and any information I have will be down in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions about this home, feel free to contact the dealership listed in the description box, okay? That I don't wanna be your 